Uh, hello all. Today we are going to see uh, how to establish uh, VPN connectivity between uh, GCP Cloud and AWS Cloud. So this is uh, a 10 step process. So I'll give a demo on how it is done. So here I have uh, my GCP account and my AWS account. Under GCP I have a VPC called uh, GCP to AWS VPC and uh, the subnet is present in US Central and the IP address block is 10.106.46.0 and uh, similarly I have created another VPC in AWS and the uh, IP block is uh, 10.104.46.0 so we are going to establish uh, VPN connectivity between uh, these two VPCs so we, we need to follow a series of steps uh, in order to perform uh, this activity. Uh, the first one is creating VPCs in AWS and GCP which is already completed and uh, I have also created uh, instances uh, in both uh, GCP and uh, in AWS. Uh, you will see like uh, how we are able to connect uh, through via VPN from GCP to AWS. Uh, the next process is to create a VPN gateway in AWS. Let's go ahead and do that. Meanwhile, let me go ahead and start the instance over here. Okay, let them get started. Let's go ahead and create the VPN gateway in AWS. I will name this VPN gateway as AWS VPN gateway and I will use Amazon default uh, ASM. VPN gateway is created and this needs to be attached to a VPC. And we have authenticated the VPC, AWS to GCP VPC. I have attached it there. It is in attaching status. Now the next step in the process um, is to create a cloud router in GCP. I think I might have already created the cloud router there, but let me check that. Okay. I do have a cloud router here and the next one is um, creating the GCP VPN gateway. So you go to VPN, um, create VPN gateway and uh, we just specify the VPN gateway name as GCP VPN gateway and the region would be US Central 1 and uh, let's go and create so while it is being created let's go and see the next step in the process um, now we need to add this uh, GCP VPN gateway as the customer gateway uh, in AWS. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. I think it has taken the beta version of creating GCP even gateways which we don't want. So I'm gonna delete them. Go to the VPN. This uh, and then instead of using high availability VPN, I will use the classic VPN. And uh, I will not be creating any tunnels now. I will create the GCP VPN gateway. Yes, central one. 
uh, GCP pin gateway IP address and then let me go ahead and create this okay let me switch back to the customer gateway click on create customer gateway we have the routing mode is dynamic and uh, if I remember it correct the BGP is and MGCP is 65434 and just copy this address yeah it is 65434 and we do have the KPI IP address And I'll name this gateway as TCP VPN gateway. Now I have created the customer gateway. Next would be to create the site to site VPN connection. Let's go ahead and do that. create VPN connection and uh, we will name this as AWS VPN to GCP and uh, we will select the virtual private gateway here the customer gateway is existing which we have created that is GCP VPN gateway and then the routing options we are selecting it as dynamic for BGP and uh, regarding the pre-shared key you need to provide the pre-shared key so I'll give the pre-shared key with the alphanumeric characters and a score and dots are allowed let's verify this once before we go ahead and create the vpn connection it looks intact now let's go ahead and create okay the initial status would be down ipsec tunnel we haven't established the ipsec tunnel with the gcp so let's go ahead and uh, create the VPN tunnels which would be the next step 